All right, so this is kind of a note to self of how to change a power steering high pressure hose. Now mine had a split at the very top, so what I did was I cleaned it and cleaned it and cleaned it with um, some instant parts degreaser. And then I got some of that stretch rubber Scotch 3M or 3M rubber tape that you usually use. Uh, you have to pull it and it stretches the ground, but after thoroughly degreased the hose did a few wraps of that around the entire rubber section of that pipe and then and then I put some monster um, duct tape around it you know just enough to cover it all up and then I got this three-quarter inch clamp at the hardware store it's three inches long by three-quarter inch and you have to be very particular on how that thing fits across so it's going metal fitting to metal fitting and then I kind of wrap tape around everywhere to compress it so as I tighten it down I, I had to like disinstall um, it and then um, reinstall and kept on changing the angle and that was probably about the best angle because then I can tighten it back up but anyhow just to let you know what the uh, pipe sizes is you'll have to uh, this is actually the fitting that moves this is a fixed fitting on this side and I was able to put like an 18 on there but I think it's 11 this is 11 16 or 13 16 and this is 11 16 I think is how that worked out and then way up back up in there you'll see like right underneath that alternator bracket you can loosen that up with a 16 millimeter I'm told it's also 5 8 but um, I got this combination wrench, which is 11 sixteenths, 5 eighths, but I can't get the, either one of those. I could put the 11 sixteenths on the smaller side of the, of the fixed side of the, the high pressure pipe, but I can't really put the 5 sixteenths on the part that threads into the bottom of the power steering pump. So. I, I just used a 16 millimeter for that. I don't have a 5 eighths. So anyhow, um, that's what I will need when my new power steering hose comes in uh, to replace it. Um, in order to get your hands down there and actually work on that, the best thing to do is to pop these two loose. Be careful, there's a big rubber O-ring in there. It actually will, will sit like around here. Make sure you don't cut or break that because you probably want to replace that otherwise you're sucking water dirt whatever sand straight into your air filter uh, I mean into your intake after the air filter um, and then there's two 13 millimeter bolts right here so disconnect this pull this away very gently you don't really need to re remove the um, electrical connector to that but um, there's two 13 millimeters of these. After you remove this, then you gently slide. There's pins on the bottom that uh, you slide it back a little bit. Actually, after you remove this, then it's easier to get to the bolt that's on this side. So, anyhow, that's how to get to the upper power steering hose. And looking at it, this is an air suspension model, 93. Uh, I don't see why you couldn't have one made that that just has the there's a flared fitting on that 16 millimeter end and then just bypass this whole thing if you took the whole thing off and just do a one piece hose um, down to the the part that goes down to the power steering pump um, if you're in a pinch um, and you can't get a rover part like I'm in a remote area here so Anyhow, that, that pipe is, uh, the high pressure hose is NTC, I think it's 8588 with air suspension. But like I said, you could easily, I think, bypass that and make, and just take in both parts. And uh, they could probably hacksaw off that line right there and flare onto, onto the hose to replace that fitting because they don't have that uh, fixed that fixed fitting the one that that makes a 90 degree turn so if you just are very ingenuitive 
Uh, I don't see why that even needs to be on there. But um, I'm sure it was a lot of uh, discussion over there in Solihull, England, and uh, there's probably some engineering uh, thing time and time again. I mean, just why have two, why have four hose connections, you know, on a pipe and then and then three mechanical connections, threaded connections to leak. Really, you just need to have two connections and then a one-piece hose. So they could have thought that through a little bit better. Anyhow, wouldn't be the only thing, but um, I'm going to keep it stock. I got the other, I got a rover part on order. Um, good luck. It's an easy job. Just put a glove on, on the one hand. Probably won't get that dirty.